All right, right now I'm fishing another bottom release dam river. Kind of did some scaling to get back here. It's a cool spot. Oh my God, there are so many fish in here. Oh God, a big bass. It's a monster. I think I just found a honey zone right here on the jerk bait, unexpected. And two seconds ago, I landed one of the biggest rock bass size that thing? I've ever seen. Catch some more monsters out of here. I was getting so many bites in here, but from what I thought was smaller fish. And then that giant just came over and slammed. This spot's interesting because you can only really fish off the bridge unless you're willing to do a pretty sketchy wade under a balcony back there. And then this entire side is kind of blocked off with these steep walls. So it's hard to get down here and fish this side of the river. And instantly, once I got up here, fishing was pretty insane. I just came here stopping on my way back after fishing that last river. These rivers just keep amazing me. All these dammed up sections of the rivers where the current's pumping out. There's so many fish of every species stacked by them. I like to run a jerk bait for a place like this because really anything will bite it. Gives it that flash. And any fish that's looking to feed on a minnow or anything like that will just come up and smoke some like this. Especially a less pressured area like I'm fishing right here. The main current's coming out from over there. There's another pump station here. And this entire basin back here is filled with bait, filled with fish. There's some, whoa. Look at how our current's pumping through here right now. Hi. Why is that? Oh, okay. I, I waded up the river. I walked up the river. Okay. So I'm good here. I'll be fine here. Wait, in the water is okay. Yeah, but if I'm in the water, I'm not on your property, right? Got him. All righty, thank you. Oh, thanks, Smalley just bit. Oh, let's go. Monster. Oh, 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 there he goes. Quick release on him. It's like a four pounder. All right, this is a point of adventure where I almost got kicked off, didn't, because I'm actually fishing a public river. And, oh, I found a bridge out of fish on. And I'm gonna try to wade it to the island there. The water is a little stained, so it's hard to see. I hope I could just walk across, otherwise I'm gonna have to do a little bit of a swim to get over there. I don't know if I'm gonna make this. It's deep here, but I should be going. I gotta remember my line through here. Whew. Anything for the fish. Oh, I think I snagged a shad. That's what it feels like. Uh-oh, totally accidental. But that's another species of fish. These guys are everywhere in the river. They're pretty cool, actually. I think they're gizzard shad. And I'm pretty sure there actually is a way to catch these square in the mouth. You use like little tiny flies or something, and they bite them. Because shad, from what I know, are filter feeders. They just swim through the water. Oh man, I gotta watch out getting the hook out of this guy. Do not want to get hooked. Right now they're running up the river spawning, so they get really aggressive when they see something. Let's get this guy back. I kind of wanted to get my hands on a shad today. I guess that's one way. Got him. Fish on. That's a way to end the trip off. I was just walking back to the tackle box. And then, oh wait, nope, he got off. All right guys. Right now I'm wading out of the spot. This is a trek in that I had to do to get to be able to fish underneath that bridge. Most people just stand up on the bridge and fish. But I was thinking, I gotta get down to the river and get up underneath that bottom release dam to see what I can find. I guess earlier today I wasn't scared enough by the sirens that kicked me out of the river. So I went back up under another bottom release dam again and tried my luck. Oh, it was worth it. That's all I'm gonna say. If you do a trek like this to get upstream to an unfishable area otherwise, it usually pays off. Be safe in the process because sometimes these rivers can be pretty intimidating and the power of the water is not to be underestimated. Until next time, keep on going after, keep on promoting the positivity of fishing and exploring and keep on sending it no matter what, no matter where you are. Ooh. And 
I will see you guys in the next one. Skyline.